Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hello, and welcome to Coffee Time with Americans. I'm your host, Natasha. And I'm your co-host, Debbie. So. That's well needed on this I don't. cool day. <laughs> welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Um, that's the weirdness for the video <laughs> out of the way. Oh, it won't be the only weirdness. Welcome. Um, so excited about today's episode. Before we get into it, go grab some coffee, some tea, uh, hot chocolate. A snack. Well, you can have, yeah, get some snacks, some, mm -hmm. like some toast and jam or something. And uh, let's get warm. And we're going to jump into this video in just a second that I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, Debbie's going to jump into this. If you like today's content, please hit that like button. Mm -hmm. And please consider subscribing to our channel. But don't take our word for it. Check out some of our content. Make sure you want to be a part of our channel. Okay, so technically we should have done this video last month in October. However, we probably should have. But it was really hot here. Mm -hmm. It just got cold here the last few days and it has literally been below freezing for four nights in a row. Yeah, it actually uh, snowed a little bit today. Very, very little. Um, like didn't a flurry, nothing serious. Like like three snowflakes flew by and said, "Hey!" <laughs> uh, but uh, it's November. It's my birthday month. That's and, right. It is. Yep, I'm old and just getting older. But this video popped up um, based off something I was looking at for Patreon. So patrons, we have something special for you. And uh, there were two videos that um, I saw that were kind of listed from this uh, lovely lady's uh, YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't pick one. Nope. So, so we're going to do both. We're going to do both. So what are they? Well, we're going to celebrate fall or autumn as most of the world refers to it. And that is video number one. It's called Hello October. We're going to call it Hello November. <laughs> Cozy, slow autumn day in English countryside. C caramel apple cinnamon buns. She oh, makes cinnamon buns. That sounds lovely. Get your recipe books ready. And then video number two. <clears throat> autumn in the mountains. Yeah. Slow travel. In Scottish Highlands at Edinburgh, cozy October cabin live cabin living. That sounds amazing. It's perfect for this time of year. Yes. Um, I know most of our leaves here have changed and are mm -hmm. pretty much on the ground <laughs> for at least half and half. So this is a great time for us to take a look at this. Absolutely. And we've not seen the Scottish Highlands yet. And we haven't really looked at Edinburgh yet. So a lot of stuff. And we love the English countryside, even though we've only seen like one or two videos on it. Mm -hmm. um, but again... Grab a nice warm drink, get a blinky, get cozy, um, get your dog, your cats on the on the <laughs> couch or bed wherever you're at, or you know mm -hmm. chair. I don't know, uh, or grab some someone furry that happens to be living with you. I mean, if you have a furry guy, grab him. <laughs> Just get ready to snuggle up. Mm -hmm. So it's time. Let's check this out. We got two videos and super excited to watch this with you. Mario, love. <clears throat> kitty cat. Oh, kitty. Hi, kitty. Whoa. Beautiful. Those look good. Debbie, you gotta make those. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I am gonna pause really. Thank you to whoever that was on YouTube in our comments that said hit the K button if our space bar still doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It worked. Thank you. The K button did. We're going to, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, the links to both of these videos are in the description of ours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I know that when I looked in her description, she puts recipes too, to the things she's making. Nice. So make sure you go to her videos if you want to make this stuff, because I'm going to be begging Debbie to make them. We might do that soon. Oh, we're totally like doing that. tomorrow. Like my birthday. Anyway, yeah, sorry, just want to make sure I told you guys that. And again, thank you whoever it was that said hit the K button. We have to get a new keyboard. <laughs> Here we go. I 
of here. Mm -hmm. October crept up so suddenly. I crave cozy life at the moment, as the outside gets gradually colder, and I find myself staying at home more than ever this autumn. Uh -huh. I make warm porridge for breakfast, light a candle and snuggle up in the same corner all day, working, reading books and daydreaming. Though, honestly, I do need to get outside more, as I've become too much of a homebody this year. Sometimes there's nothing wrong with that. Sounds like a perfect day. It really does. I love those mugs of the birds. Mm-hmm. It's my favorite season. I feel like we're in Trinity. <laughs> I know. Is she decent? She is. I believe I'm not the only one feeling like this year swept past too fast and the seasons didn't feel much like themselves this time. Oh. Mm. Trees in my tiny garden are still mostly green, only one cherry tree slowly shedding its red foliage. After long rainy spells, it feels like nature is oh, happy yeah. staying green for longer this season, mm -hmm. and I don't think we'll get this typically beautiful golden autumn until mid-November. We didn't get it at all, so which is kind of. I was super. But quiet. even still, whenever I go outside, I smell autumn so vividly in the air. Yes, mm -hmm. it's my favorite. Smell. I find rare golden trees and marvel at their color. I always tend to hurry time, but nature reminds me that everything in life comes when it's meant to. So okay. I let go. Love that. You know, this video is just reminding me that we all need to take time to slow down. Yeah. And appreciate those simple beauties that are around every single one of us. Absolutely. Whether it's the leaves changing, grass growing, the clouds in the sky, smells in the air slow down and appreciate every moment that we have well said so let's continue watching her appreciate every moment in her life well said babe it's beautiful i want to run through that field That looked like Chatsworth House. <laughs> Again. That's my favorite color fall leaves, those mm -hmm. red ones like that. Look at those berries. I love the moodiness. Yeah, even the, the cloudy skies. The, the, the way she's filmed it. Yes, yes. Oh, beautiful. spending money on autumn decor this year as there are other priorities I'm currently trying to focus on. Well, I feel bad I'm now using playing. dry leaves I collected over the past Octobers and dried between pages of books. Huh. Dry flowers from previously store-bought or wild-picked bouquets. Gold-painted picture frames and old books create a lovely autumnal atmosphere. Mm. <clears throat> But I still can't resist buying candles and occasionally baking something cozy to fill my house with lovely autumnal scents. Oh. It's gonna be the most epic November of all time. I know the stuff. Cinnamon baking buns in come in to oven. mind whenever I think about colder days. I've failed many times before on my previous attempts to bake cinnamon buns, but I am happy to say that this time they turned out wonderfully. I will write the recipe down in the description. This is so soothing and amazing. Mm -hmm. 
sounds satis- it's so satisfying. Mm-hmm. You all need to go subscribe to her channel. Come on. I love all the decorations around while she's baking this food. You got to make these seven buns. Just a quick pause. I love Debbie's buns. Cinnamon buns, that is. <laughs> will you please make these? Yes, we will try this. Okay, like, oh, we can make them together. No, let's do that. Let's make them together. Okay. <clears throat> I want you guys to do it, too. Like, let us know if you'll do it. Take our, take the Natasha and Debbie challenge I just Cinnamon created. bun challenge. Yes. Well, I know in the next video, I think she makes something, too. Um, so, let us know if you'll do it. Uh, like I said, we'll put the descriptions of these two videos in, the, yeah, the links of these two videos of hers in our description. And then you can go to those, and then she has the recipe mm-hmm. in hers. So it's a community love effort. She's making me hungry. <clears throat> oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Weekends are the days when I explore the most and spend some time filming around beautiful English villages and national trusts. Ooh. Last weekend I visited Bybury, an iconic tiny village in the Cotswolds. Oh, its Cotswolds. most famous street, Arlington Row, was originally built in the 14th century mm-hmm. as a wool store and converted into weavers' cottages in the 17th century, where people still live to this day. Oh, I want to live there. I saw a few residents this day Apparently. with their dogs and they all seemed very sweet and lovely and didn't mind so many people and tourists in general taking pictures outside their houses. But I do have to remind that these are someone's houses and we mm-hmm. have to be very respectful when stepping on these streets. Good point. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Hi, sheepies. I am endlessly fascinated by history and imagine myself traveling back through time each time I step mm-hmm. outside. England oh. is so full of historic places like this. This greatly inspires the way I dress lately and I often try to match my outfits to the environment I'm getting out to. It's funny because as a young teenager I swore that I will never ever wear a skirt or a dress in my entire life. (laughs) But look at how things have changed. I wear dresses most of the time in any place or any weather, layering them on top of warmer clothes. That is not to say that any type of clothing is superior. I am a strong believer in wearing whatever inspires you or makes you feel comfortable. This is so beautiful. Mm-hmm. We're watching a movie together. Anyway, back to my cinnamon buns. Back to the buns, yes. It mm-hmm. wouldn't be me if I didn't do something extra to spice these buns up. I call these sticky caramel apple cinnamon buns, and Mm. they turned out so good. They sound good. Inspired by caramel apples, which Mm. I always want to eat, but I actually don't like. And my love for apple pies with tons of cinnamon. I still have a lot of apples left from that time I went apple picking in the orchard, and I had to put them to good use. Huh. I so want to make this with you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's do it. Sunday. Well, Wednesday. <laughs> it's too far off. It's a week away. I seem to be baking quite often lately, and a lot of people are shocked by amounts of sugar I consume. So I thought I'd share some of my secrets today. There are a few ways how I manage to bake which I do probably once a month, not every day or week, and not consume it all. Sharing with neighbors is yeah. one of them. Can I say that? I have a couple of friendly neighbors I can Ooh. share my cakes with, and it's a bit of a new and awkward thing for me to do, as previously I never even spoke to neighbors in my big city apartment block. Mm. Things are slightly different nowadays. 
That's a good thing. I also <clears throat> freeze some baked goods and eat them whenever I'm in the mood at oh, a later wow. time. This looks immaculate. Or sometimes I simply eat a cake for breakfast while eating a lot of veggies and healthy foods for lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. I am a sweet breakfast type of person, usually gravitating towards a warming oat porridge with fruit. So cake mm -hmm. is a happy alternative. This will go great for also, my diet, I'm starting. If you <laughs> ever tried to follow one of my recipes, I often mention in the description that I add way less sugar than regular recipes call for. Sometimes I cut sugar by half. I have a sweet tooth mm. and a great love for chocolate, cinnamon and fruit pies. But yes, to be perfect. honest, most commercial cakes or typical sweet recipes are still unbearably sweet for my taste. I agree with her. 100%. Those look amazing. Yeah, they do. Who's going to make these? Also an associates with all of my favorite foods. Sweet and savory from pies to cozy soups and stews. Whoa. I wonder if you'd be interested in seeing any savory meal ideas. Yes, yes I you would. don't really pose my videos as instructional, but rather an inspiration for seasonal living. Uh. If you are interested in seeing more of the realistic autumnal inspiration and cooking, please do let me know. Huh. That looks decadent. That looks incredible. gourmet chef right there oh we've hit video number two already that was fast well, i got lost in that i know <laughs> we're all wrapped up in the whole feel of yeah it, this is a totally different video than we've ever done before on the channel so hope you guys are liking it please mm -hmm. let us know and if you do please do hit that like button so that we know um <clears throat> but like i said i should have said at the beginning it's like a documentary and it is mm -hmm. um so that was the first video now we're on to the second one we're going to check out scotland um, but this is just so relaxing, so it chill. Um, I would ask you uh, as a favor to rewatch these without us too, please. Mm -hmm. um, on like a big screen or something so you can see the whole thing and feel it. Yes. Because this is amazing. I mean, I'm definitely um, going to be watching a lot of her videos, but I'm going to try to hold back some and hope mm -hmm. that we can. So we can share with you. Hopefully we can, yes. Uh, but uh, this is fantastic. I'm loving it. And now I'm super excited to check out October in Scotland. Um, it's in the and, Highlands, right? Uh, yeah, she'll tell us, I'm okay. sure. Um, so, whew, I wanna see if the space bar works. No. <laughs> K button. Here we go, Scotland. I'm excited. A short film, see, documentary. Hey, Scottish birds. Look at my Last first time week, I took birds. a train to Scotland. We know that one. I would love to ride that. No, unfortunately not this kind of train, though a child in me, and an adult of course, would wish this was the case. <laughs> but a modern train, and a long, nearly five-hour journey from London King's Cross station into Edinburgh, and then another two-hour car journey into the Highlands. Yes, I want to do this so bad. While on the train, looking at vast expanses through the window, I thought how lovely would it be to experience life in many places mm -hmm. and wander many roads if only time and money allowed. But how tied Great. I am to the roots I began to grow in the place where I reside. How little time and little resources and little strength we all have to be everything and anything at the same moment. Mm -hmm. She is an incredible person. How rugged landscapes call me, but the comfort and fear tied me to one place. How each of us has to choose their own path, their own meaning to life, while knowingly sacrificing the other. I'm pausing this for a second. You know who she reminds me of in, in her inspirational um, words and just relaxed voice? Oh, I'm going to take a guess at Claire. Claire, Wild Bear Claire. Mm -hmm. Who we did find, by the way. We, we, we did. We did find Claire. We did get to, we get to, we got to talk to Claire. <laughs> um, thank God. 
They, uh, yeah, she reminds me of her in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, and that gentleness and just that taking every second, the looking at every... inspiration, the yeah, deepness to it, yeah. Slowing down, enjoying what's in front of you. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what made us fall in love with Claire. And I think we're falling in love here, too. I think we are. Wow. And by the way, is this Edinburgh? Because, whoa. Uh-huh. It's amazing already. Whoa. Little in love. A little, I mean, a lot. Let's just be honest. <laughs> but even still, how wonderful it is to divert from your path sometimes, even for so little, and mm -hmm. experience life you've been completely unfamiliar with up until now. Yeah. You too, for two years. <laughs> yes. Cheers. looks such a perfect day right there. Hello. Wow. But I digress. Edinburgh, Scotland. First few days were spent wandering around the city. A rainy, gloomy, beautiful city. Its towering sandstone buildings and narrow hidden alleys serve as the means to travel into past. Yes, definitely. That is amazing. I didn't realize how tall those were. Cozy windows of many dimly lit cafes <laughs> and traditional pubs and quirky magic shops for all those magic lovers lure you in to wow. hide from the merciless northern winds. What is this building here? The structure? That's a, I mean, like the one in front of that yeah. clock tower. What is that? Let me know. Is that a raven? In wow. contrast with England's summer temperatures in the middle of October, Edinburgh met us with real autumn. Golden leaves swaying peacefully and falling gently onto the ground. Cold air chilling us, unprepared travelers to the bone. That's beautiful. Though wow. the city warmed us with its many stairs and steep hills. Everywhere we went, every alley we stumbled upon offered beautiful views and many curiosities. No wonder it inspired so many books and fictional worlds. It's just as right? Charlotte Bronte wrote, who indeed that has once seen Edinburgh must see it again in dreams, waking or sleeping. I love it. So if you didn't know, I bitched about this on a video in the past, not long ago, Ancestry.com. Lowered my stupid Ancestry mm -hmm. DNA stuff from 28% Scottish to 17. Yeah, crap, whatever. I don't buy it. It's Whenever we look at Scotland, I get emotional. I feel it pulling. It's like a rope mm -hmm. in my heart. It lassoes itself around. It's like, and I feel something there. It's almost like I can see back generations and generations and generations mm -hmm. and generations. And it's like, there's something familiar. It's amazing you have that connection. No, it's weird. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that way when you look at certain things like Italy and... Yeah, it'll, parts of Italy. Yeah, it's just like, I feel that. I really do. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I may sound like a crazy nut job uh, or mental, as you guys would say. <laughs> but um, no, I really do. Oh, come on. It's all just stunning. Are you kidding? So beautiful. Uh -huh. While not the first time in Edinburgh, it was my first time traveling to the Highlands. <laughs> Under two hour drive on scenic roads away from the city brought us to Loch Lomond National Park and then mm. to our little wooden cabin on the shores of Loch Long. I want a picturesque sea lake surrounded by woodlands and mountains in the area just between the lowlands and the Scottish Highlands. Take note, Debs. This was perhaps one of the most picturesque places I've ever stayed at. Oh, good lord, that's just too much for my heart. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. A wonderful change of pace, limited space in the suitcase, and lack of phone reception forced me to leave technology behind. Perfect. I say exactly. that, but I did, however, bring my camera for pictures. How could you not? It's a difficult balance, isn't it? It seems like in the modern world mm. it's nearly impossible to be completely technology-free. 
Yeah. Whatever type of device it is, we simply can't live without any kind of screen, and sometimes it feels like there is no escape. Mm -hmm. I left my computer behind, and I never switch on the TV in rental places if they have one. I don't That's have smart. a TV at home either. My phone did not have the reception most of the time, and social media consumption was at its lowest. But another form of technology follows me in life, wherever I go. A form of technology that allows me to capture these moments, uh -huh. capture what my yeah, eyes yeah. can see, and share that piece of my world with others. However, that means I'm <laughs> almost never truly off. I dedicate my life to capturing ah, stories and emotions camera. with my camera. My memory holds so many moments dear. The moments I can only revisit ah. in my imagination or vivid dreams. This is too wow. beautiful. I dedicate my time to immortalizing my memories. Mm -hmm. And I can't truly say if all will be worth it at the end. For now, it makes it possible for me to share my vision with the world. And thank you for that. Yes. I'm almost choked to see in that. That's so freaking gorgeous. Oh, I want to go there mm -hmm. and walk through the woods and get lost. Yep. Get for a little bit during the day. Yes. Oh, how beautiful are you, Scotland? Look at this. We need to look, look more at this. Yes. Pet that grass. <laughs> Poison mushrooms. I don't Just care. gorgeous. It is, it's a fairy land. It fairy is. Fairy tale land. Well, my ancestors came from there and I am so proud right now. I'm just you like, should be. It's amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I, I just turned into a four year old. Sorry. <laughs> it is so beautiful. It is. Ugh. I'm just like freaking out. Sorry, I have lost my mind a little bit, but it's just, I can't contain myself because it is that gorgeous. We've it never is. seen the Highlands. This is the first, this is off, first obviously glimpse. just a watering. It's like definitely, a drop. Anyways, definitely. We have to find more videos. I've tried so Need hard to, to find. see more. Yeah, I've tried so hard to find videos in, those, mm -hmm. in the Highlands and I've yet to find anything that's not copywritten or. Way too short. Or way too long, one of the two, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I'm sorry. And I do apologize for being overly ridiculous about how I'm acting right now, no, but I'm, I'm feeling I, this. I want to be there walking through those woods too. Together. Yes. She's lucky. Very lucky. Mm -hmm. oh, and whoever lives there is luckier. Wow. Mm. Good Lord. Just look at how pretty that is. No, oh, I am. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, yes. Here, it's a, wow. <laughs> it took every color up mm -hmm. on the palette. Huh. That'd be getting here soon, please. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna try. Wow. Look at that house. Oh, are you kidding me? I know, it only gets better, right? Oh, be still my heart. Man. Oh, my homeland's calling me. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? <sighs> oh. Wow. What else can you say but wow? <laughs> Uh. 
I have so much more to say, but words seem to form in my head quite awkwardly and in pieces as I'm writing this back in my own little place in England. I left my heart in Scotland. These dramatic mountains towering above my head, clouds that lay on mountain peaks like fluffy blankets, crystal clear lakes and bubbling rivers, tall pine trees and mossy forest floors, perfection, mm -hmm. devastating history and warmest northern people. All of this mesmerized me, stole a piece of my soul. I get it. Yeah. I will. I must come back again. I say the same thing to my ancestors. Exactly. Whoever the heck they were. <laughs> oh man. I know, I can't be everything all at once, live everywhere and wander perpetually. I have to grow my roots eventually, but the spirit of adventure, this endless curiosity will always live within. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you kidding? Look at that. Wow. Perhaps one day I will meet Scotland once again, for a longer period of time. For now, all I have is these memories to look back at. Wow. I hope you get back there. She's capturing it all so beautifully. Mm -hmm. Oh, Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Thank you, all the 50,000 of you, dearly. I will see you again, back on Earth or back in England, with my simple life again next week. I hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are. Uh -huh. See we you are soon. Now. I'm going to say something weird. I've never been happier for a video to end. Why? Because it was too much. I was going to start crying. Oh, not too much. I was going to start yeah. crying and it was making me too jealous and too restless sitting here looking mm -hmm. at that going, I am so sick of sitting here and doing reaction videos to places I want to just freaking be at right now. But financially, that's just not an option and that makes me mad. So I mean that as the highest form of a compliment to um, you know, <laughs> her for making the video mm -hmm. that's so beautiful and to the UK in general. All the beautiful places that we look at. Um, but it did. It made me mad. I'm like, can this just end? Because I'm ticked off. Like, oh, well, I'm serious. We'll get there someday. Some days too too far away. I mean, no, that's We're too. I need a there. date on a calendar day. Um, <laughs> my birthday. <laughs> that's too <laughs> soon. But um, man, that was incredible. Please let us know your thoughts, guys. Please and please again. We have the links to um, both of these videos in the description mm -hmm. of ours. And go watch them separately. Uh huh. And please. check out other stuff that she may have. Yeah. Uh, wow. Incredible. Wow. I mean, what can you say about wow? I mean, it just it did evoke emotion in you. Didn't you feel it too? Yes. Yeah. And I definitely want to be walking through those woods, sitting in the cabin. All the things. I want to make the cinnamon buns. Yes. I just want to go take a walk in the cold air. Yes. And um, I forgot to say, hit the like button, please, and consider subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> Had to throw that in there. Uh, no, but this is, a, like I said, a different type of thing we've never done like this mm -hmm. before. Let us know if you'd like to see more stuff like this. I was really excited about it, and this delivered so much above what I thought it might be. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I couldn't pick, went on Facebook Live and said, hey, she, this person has a video on the English countryside in, in autumn and mm -hmm. Scotland. Which one? And I'm like, ah, both of them. Absolutely so, both of them. But It's autumn, and we're celebrating. And yes. Like she told us in the video, you know, get out and slow down. 
appreciate the things that are around you. If you can't get to Scotland to go see stuff, or you can't get to England. Or America and see our beautiful fall foliage, because it is stunning here too. Is. Please know that. Appreciate what you have around you, all those little changes. Be adventurous in your own area, whatever you can do and afford to do. And also, good point to that, another, another side of that is, even if you do live in these places, get out and see them again. With fresh eyes. With fresh eyes. You know, and hope, I know some of our videos, we've been told people have seen things like that. And that is the biggest mm -hmm. compliment for us. We're flattered. Um, but uh, please go outside. You'll look, you know, maybe if it is raining a lot, maybe it's not a negative thing. Maybe it's look at how beautiful those raindrops you know? bounce off the pavement, you know, and they hit the leaf just right and et cetera, et cetera. Take but, an umbrella and go for a walk anyway. Yeah, do it. Just Doesn't do have it. to be a long walk. Just get out and breathe some fresh air. Thank you guys so much for watching this special episode. I hope that you enjoyed it because we certainly did. And I am so, Definitely. was already in a festive mood this year. Mm -hmm. uh, more so, we're planning for Thanksgiving here at the end of the month. And, um, you know, I'm even more so in the mood now. Mm -hmm. And really excited to celebrate my birthday even more um, because we're going to make cinnamon buns. That's right. <laughs> we're going to make cinnamon buns. And please let us know if you end up making them too and how they turned out. Absolutely, guys. Thank you. And we'll see you on the next episode. Until then, please. Slow down and love like jazz. And be as strong as Tyson. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.